I'll admit, I don't really remember even a little bit of what I was doing or what I've already done. Um, it's been a hot minute since I last did this. Oh, my mic's kind of far away. Um, this setup is very janky. Um, what the fuck is my character? Generic. Okay, good to know. I, I have the fucking guy steel lance, but I can't use it. That explains a bit. Okay. Huh. Why am I not using that if I have it? Oh, it's worse, that's why. That's a shame, it does stamina recovery. Well, I luckily do not have to worry about that. I've been playing a lot of, um, I mean, Halo for one thing, but besides that, I've been playing a lot of, uh, oof, um, other games. Wow, I am just all over the place, huh? I'm, okay, what's my stamina recovery? Pretty good, actually. Probably because I'm wearing multiple stamina recovering objects. This is not like Dark Souls uh, 1. I should really be wearing um, a helmet. Because unlike Dark Souls 1, if you're not wearing all of your armor pieces, you take ridiculously increased damage. Even if uh, the armor piece you're wearing is... What, what is it, okay, is it 65 in this one? I think that's the medium roll. And that's the same roll. So, as much as I would like to have my fun, like, open-faced thing, it would really be in my better interest to not do that this time. Maybe later, when I can afford to not have the... I forgot about this guy. Oh yeah, you technically count as a Okay. Well, at least I've got a fuck ton of life gem. You know, this is very similar to the build I had when I was starting Dark Souls 1 a bajillion years ago, except the very first time I played Dark Souls 1, I was very weird about how I played it, because what I did was, um, I wore the Elite Knight set and I used a bow, like a lightning bow with a fuck ton of, uh, do I even have a bow? I do have a bow. Which gives me the heavy roll. Okay. I have a bow and ten arrows. Great. Ugh. Ah, shit. <sighs> Anyway, um, I wore the, uh, Elite Knight set, I used a bow and arrow, and I would just fucking kill bosses like that, because you could do it, and I did. It worked pretty well, actually. Dark Souls 1 is one of the few games where you can actually do that. Um, I forget, is that all of them? Probably not, but who's counting? Right, you have to drop down for that one. Come on, dude, really? Do you not have time for this shit? weapon. I do have, I don't know if it's the build I had in mind when I was originally planning this, but I do have a build in mind now, but that build will not come to fruition 
until I get to the Shrine of Amana, which is, like, far from here. Well, it could be worse. I could be playing on my other character who's like multiple new game pluses in where like that forlorn would have killed me in one hit. Man, it's been a while since I've played DS2. I'm a bit rusty. DS2 is the most obtuse with its fucking gameplay mechanics. The fact that it's not insta-kill bothers me. Well, at least you can kill them in their wake-up. You can't do that in the other Souls games. Crichton should be in here, right? Or the other one. I forget, actually. I'm gonna see if I can go as far as I can without summoning Bashful Ray. Uh... Morning star. Or... I don't think these guys get up. I'll kill them anyway. I know Bashful Ray will fucking waste time killing them if I summon him. I'm gonna see if I can get away with... What? Oh, I thought there was an item there. I'm gonna see if I can get away with... Um... Fucking... If I can get to the... I probably shouldn't have used Nestus if I was gonna do that. Oh, that fucker! I remember you! Yeah, fucking... Oh, this is gonna be impossible with this weapon. You have to use, like, a great sword to kill him, because he's so fucking, like, irritating. I should go talk to Vengarl. I don't think he'll sell anything to me until I've... Okay, there, good. Oh, wait, he doesn't carry... In the other version of this game, I'm pretty sure he carries a key item. I'm not sure that he's carrying one in this version, though. Oh, yeah, the fucking thieves. But, yeah. There's one of those runner dudes who is carrying a key item. I don't remember which one, though. They're all really annoying. Do I actually have enough poise to not fucking, like... Huh. The good thing I read that fucking note. Yeah, I guess I do actually have enough poise to tank some of these hits. Ow. Can you stop? Those life gems are better than I remember. Good thing I bought like a bajillion of them. I don't remember doing that. Well, admittedly, it's something I do pretty much every time, so not too much of a stretch. Uh... Oh, fucking okay. Sorry to drop in on you. Soul Spear. Poison. Trapped chest. Oh, no. Just regular chest. Hey. <clears throat> I forget where the guy is in this one. Those guys are a pain in the ass to deal with. I don't really want to fight them, but I do kind of want that item. I don't remember what it is. I don't think you can backstep now. Yeah, see. Well, I have to fight him now, so. Man, I am super fucking rusty. 
OST. I, went, I was replaying some of Dark Souls 3 a bit more recently, and um, I'm very rusty at Dark Souls 3, and I think part of the problem is I've become very accustomed to the way my character played in that game, and every single weapon I used in that game has been nerfed really hard. Because I used the Dark Drift, or not the Dark Drift, the uh, Frayed Blade, uh, Frayed Scythe, um, the Moonlight Greatsword, the fucking uh, Northern Regalia, you know, that sort of stuff. Because um, I thought they were really cool, and they worked pretty well. The fight, Frayed Scythe, when it first launched, was probably the strongest weapon in the game. No one had a counter for its flurry. Ah, I forgot about that. No one had a counter for its flurry. That frost damage was really cool. Um, no pun intended. It was just fantastic. It was a great weapon. It did tons of damage. It had an awesome moveset. Now it does, like, I want to say a quarter as much damage as it used to, which is a bit disappointing. And, you know, I understand, but I really wish they'd... Where's the other... Because I lowered the bridge, but that didn't open the fucking thing. Because where's the one that... Oh, no, Crichton's in the one that's past the bridge. I'm misremembering that. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, Crichton's in the one over on this side. Where the bonfire is. Yeah, okay, the guy who's carrying the fucking thing that I want, it's the key for this. There's a Bloodborne area that's very similar to this. It's right after you enter the uh, woods. Yeah, Crichton's in here. Yeah, see, he's, um... He's to the side of the door, I think. Uh, it's possible he might not spawn in until you open it. But yeah, Crichton, or, or the fucking key guy, is like right here. Ow. Man, I fucking hate archers. It's not as bad as that bit in Sekiro, or the bit in Dark Souls 1, but it's still pretty annoying. I hate that. Oh, you bitch! Okay, um, don't know why it's not on my hotbar. I don't like this part of the game, in case it wasn't obvious. I mean, okay, Dark Souls 2 is the Dark Souls game I have the most problems with, just on a fucking fundamental design level. Yeah. Fucker. Um, and I have the most problems with Dark Souls 2, just in general. Oh, that's weird. Never seen that glitch before. Um, but admittedly, Dark Souls 2 probably has one of the better world states in the game, because it's the most varied. And it has the most mechanical depth. Followed by Dark Souls 1 or maybe Demon Souls. It's probably Demon Souls, actually. Oh, a magic mace. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's not upgraded, but if it were, that might be worth using. Yeah, you fucker, I'm coming for you. Damn it, I should have attached throwing knives to my character. I wonder if it would be faster to go around. Shit, I better take that guy out. Isn't there a trap here on New Game Plus? 
That's not the fucking thief dagger from the first game, is it? Because the thief's dagger in Dark Souls 1 is one of the best weapons in the entire game, period. Ah! I, I saw that. That's fucking, um, model remission or whatever the fuck it is, where when you're not using the models, they fucking T-pose. Regardless of whether or not they're... Shit, right? You can't sprint again until you've got all your stamina back. Ah! No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, you fucker. See, this shit I hate. If I had magic, I could just shoot a fucking arrow at this guy and he'd explode or something. I need that great sword. Yeah, he speeds up too. That's the stupid shit. Fuck you. Oh, this one doesn't have a key. Shit. Eh, whatever. Yeah, I remember this. I hate this shit. Fuck you. What was even the point of that? Uh... Forget where it is. Oh, really? Is that only in the original version? In the original version, there's one of those undead, like, fucking... Undead hunter guys who comes and fucking attacks you, but I guess that's only in the fucking original version. Weird. My memories are really backwards for this game, because there are two versions, and those versions are like enemy remixes of each other. And this version's obviously a thousand, thousand times better, but that's not the point. Stop it. I do like these fucking undead. They remind me of the ones from the uh, first game, though not as interesting. The invisible ones are a bit odd. I wish they had better items. Okay. There's a caster in there. I remember that. Really? I wonder if it would be even a little bit worth it to fucking try and kill him with the fucking... Oh. That was actually fine. Cool. I'm gonna go open that fucking door. Because I'm not an idiot. I don't remember if those fucking necromancers stay dead. I don't think they do. So, I'm not gonna be stupid. I'm gonna fucking just open the door. I'm not gonna do the thing. I think in this game you can activate bonfires without sitting at them. 
Yeah, because there's the challenge for never sitting in a bonfire, but you can still change your spawn. Uh, yeah, there you are, Crichton. I think he literally spawned as soon as I fucking opened the door. Who are you? I thought you were that bastard for a moment. You've set me free. Now I can He's got a really good axe. The cheeky prick. It's good in Dark Souls 3, I think. That boss fight with him is really annoying. I am Crichton with Mira. You're also a liar. Land was full of danger. I thought it would suit me perfectly. I joined forces with a man on the way. He was no more than a backstabbing knife. He took the first chance he had to try and offer me. I decided to set a trap for him here. But then I got trapped myself. I can't believe that I was so dense. I think the stars that you came along. All right, cool. You be careful of it. Where's this rather unusual ring? I've seen this type before. I'm sure I won't be his last victim. He's a slick talker. All right, cool. You know, you can teleport with these things. Fuck. Oh, I was like, what the hell is that? Uh, Dark Souls 2. Got a decent amount of souls on me. Probably should cash those in before I inevitably get myself killed. I think I want to clear this area first. If I remember correctly, there's a thief that'll jump down from there. Or not. How did we get up there? Oh, that's how. Huh. Is there an item up there? Doesn't look like it. I thought Crichton was someone who would help you with this area. I guess not. Or maybe you do have to sit the bonfire first. That's probably the case. Fuck off, dude. Are you gonna get back up? Or did I kill the necromancer that's responsible for that? I don't think I did. Oh, sick. Wondering if it would be worth it to repop all the enemies in order to fucking get that Estus shard. If I remember correctly, this item's super not worth it. I'll save that for when I come back. Cool. Have I even found a Pyromancer yet? I think I can go get Ray now. At least this isn't as bad as Bloodborne, where if you get invaded by an NPC, they will straight up... Um, oh, am I not part of any Covenant? Um, if you get invaded by an NPC in Bloodborne, they can remove hours of progress from your game because they can close shortcuts you've opened. I remember the Cathedral Ward is one of the worst ones because they can close every single door 
and since those doors only open from one side, you have to redo the entire area. Any area that has doors that are, like, um, closable once they've been opened, it's a fucking nightmare. I don't know why FromSoft included that, because in all the other games, uh, invaders can't interact, interact with world objects at all. Bloodborne's like the one exception. They will close off doors you've opened and just remove progress. That happened to me like three times while I was in the fucking Cathedral Ward. It was a nightmare. Because, I mean, I'm trying to fight, um, what's-her-face? Uh, Amelia. And I'm getting invaded every four seconds because that's a huge invasion zone. And I'm like, can I please just do the fucking game? Because, look, I'm trying to summon people. Because Vicar Amelia is a tough fight. Even on New Game. Like, Bloodborne's got a lot of bosses that I'm like, this boss should have been toned way the fuck down. I mean, yeah, once you level... If you, like, over-level yourself before you get there, which you could probably do, because the Fumaru... Uh, I think the Root Chalice you can get before that point. So, theoretically, you should have access to the Chalice Dungeons to beef yourself up a bit. But still, um... Fucking... <sighs> It's ridiculous that goddamn um, Bloodborne bosses are just super, super overpowered. What is it, Ludwig? His fucking um, frame data, it's like some of his anticipatory animations are six seconds long. Or not six seconds, six frames long, which is faster than the human eye can track. Which means that you have to figure out which of his two identical startups that are gonna lead, or what, uh, gonna lead to like different animations that'll fucking kill you if you get touched by them once. It's ridiculous. I'm gonna take this off. I love that Bashful Ray has binoculars on his fucking secondary. It's kind of funny. The Skeleton Lords! Da 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 da. You. You're the one that needs to die first. I think this is an okay way to handle an ad fight. I'm not thrilled with it, but it's not as bad as it could be. These could be Dark Souls one-wheel skeletons. That would be a lot worse. Has Ray even taken a single hit of damage? Okay, he has. Let's be honest, Ray is a fucking badass. There's not a fucking NPC in this game who could beat Ray. Get him! Yeah, I forgot these guys drop fucking, um... Yeah, I forgot they drop items during this fight. Weird. Yeah, isn't there, like, a chance they'll drop, like, fucking items from the goddamn, uh... Skeleton Lords? Like, it's not their crown, because you buy that from Moglin, I think, but... Yeah, they'll drop, like, whatevers. I don't know. I do appreciate the thrones. This kind of reminds me of the Shadow Court a little bit. Yay, time for one of my least favorite parts of this entire fucking series. Oh, shit. I'll get to the next bonfire, then I'll double back to pick up some of the items I missed. I don't think I'm gonna do Chariot in this video, because fuck that. Silver Chariot's a badass, and I'm not good at fighting that thing. 
If there were a summon for it, maybe, but there's no summon in the fucking entire series that could navigate that fight without getting pinged every single time. I like how some of these skeletons are just fucking, like, phased into the goddamn wall because they've been mouse-clicked into existence. Yeah, and here's the stupid bonfire that poisons you every single time you walk through it. Who designed that one? Ugh, whatever. Oh, right, I forgot. Ugh. Well, fine. I might as well talk to who's it. Hey. Are you a traveler? I'm. I, tra I never. But I. I must. But now. Oh, many. Oh, I vexed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. I'm literally dying. I'll provide with it. You saw anything I want right now? Oh, Bonfire aesthetic ain't bad. Soul of Peace. What does that even do? Dead Again's a cool one, but also kind of useless. It feels like a PvP spell, but it's not actually I very useful for it. The place. Don't just I don't care. Go back to your dad. Stones. Some of, some of, none of, I know how to tighten it. It's, I've searched. Perhaps we'll meet again. I've said. Okay, I good. Go back to Firelink. At least Dark Souls 2 is probably the prettiest Souls game. Exception of maybe New Demon Souls. I like the New Demon Souls remake. I haven't gotten a chance to play it because I don't have a fucking PS5. But from what I've seen of it, it looks pretty good. I don't like a lot of the redesigns and the music is appreciably worse. Yeah, we're Shenalot, where are you? Is that a Emerald Herald. Bearer she seek seek last. Here to see light. Yeah, 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 shut up. How do I only have two? I should have gotten at least another one. Hmm. Whatever. Um. Wait, you don't get your first slot until ten? Really? Wow, that's fucked. Um. Why wow, my int is really fucking low? Jeez. Dex. Okay, what am I trying to build for? Before I start spending shit on shit. What do I actually want to use? 2218. I do kind of want to use the guy Steel Lance. Hmm. Oh, I do have a Pyromancy Flame. Why is that not equipped? <sighs> okay, so... Oh, I've, I, when did I pick up the Bastard Sword? We, I've got a lot of weapons here I don't remember grabbing, but it has been, like, what, two years? And this upgrades with uh, Twinkling, doesn't it? Okay, I should up my dex and strength anyway. Okay. Then I will go talk to you, see if I can upgrade anything. Oh yeah, arrows. Probably a good idea to have some of those. I have 
one soul, right? Uh, do I have any soul items? Got a boss soul. I will use this. So that I can... I need to throw that boss soul in the fucking bonfire. Never hold on to these things. Just ever, 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 ever. And... Yeah, I think that should be... Oh, I've got a fucking... I've got a bone dust. Sorry, Dark Souls 1 character. I need the extra Estus. You again? Do you have a face? Probably. Uh, oh, she just has a bunch of these. I totally forgot about that. I don't have enough souls for more of those. I need to purchase... Not those throwing knives, but the poisoned ones from What's-His-Face. But that'll be for later. Okay, that should be fine for now. Well, no, I want more life gems. Travel to Electric Boogaloo. I'll save the rest of Huntsman's Copes for later. I don't feel like I have the patience for Chariot right now. Nor do I probably have the stats. Plus, I'm not going to be doing any PvP, I think, in this series. Because the PvP in Dark Souls 2 is super fucking broken. I mean, it's the best in terms of its matching system but the rest of it is just garbage because there's so much lag and the fucking builds are like trash you oh I forgot you can throw on a three-dimensional plane I thought it was only horizontal eh fuck it I fucking hate these things, and they kill you instantly if they hit you with that attack. It's the only attack they have. They do it constantly. And it's just, it's not worth. It's better to just kill them now. I think the hitbox on that used to go through fucking, uh, multiple things, so you could fucking get killed even if you were hiding behind shit. But yeah, it kills you instantly. Like, it's such a stupid fucking gimmick. They look cool, but it's a shitty enemy. That's a lot of Dark Souls too, actually. Looks cool, real fucking dumb. I need to increase my adaptability. That is untenable. Fine work, skeleton. Yeah. This place is, I think, filled with a bunch of skeletons that'll get out. No? Am I misremembering that? I don't think I am. Come on. At least the poison air doesn't fucking poison you as quickly as the uh, rest of it does. It's not a huge deal anyway, but... Yeah, this is the equivalent of, uh, I guess not Blight Town, but 
your general poison zone. There's one in every game. It was 4 1, or I guess 4 2, in uh, Demon Souls, Blight Town, and Dark Souls 1. It's this in this game. I guess, I think there's two in this game. Yeah, poison throwing knives. It's the lacerating throwing knives I actually want, but you know, whatever. I appreciate them getting up immediately and me not having to fucking pick up the item first. That'd be a pain in the ass if I had to wait. Is there a way I- do I have anything that'll increase my poison resistance? Nope. Well, shit. Okay, fine. Yeah, there isn't really anything worth picking up here, is there? Well, I got all the items. Probably wasn't worth it. Oh, there's one more. Oh, chunk. Yeah, okay, I guess that's worth it. Fuck you. I think that will... Maybe not instantly kill me. Oh, what's his face isn't here? I guess I haven't done that yet. That's true. Literal garbage? Okay, okay. Is there. Yeah, no, this one's not worth it. Well, that's enough poison for me. I think I've gotten all the poison I can handle. Oh yeah, the flame pyromancer. They're the fucking desert sorceress pyromancer. They're cool. They're very attractive. I like them. I like their outfits. I used their outfits uh, for a while. Fun fact, that outfit has a ridiculously tiny drop range. Or dro uh, drop um, ratio, which means that if you want it, you have to farm every single fucking uh, p desert pyromancer in the entire game, of which there are like what fifteen, and they disappear permanently if you kill them eight times. Cool. Their drop thing is like what three percent for each item. I don't know if they drop that fan though. I don't remember. Flame Fan is my probably my favorite pyromancy in the entire series. I really, really like Flame Fan in Dark Souls 3. It's fucking great. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're all pissy now because I killed their waifu. They do drop that, which is a big old demon souls. I'm not surprised. I I'm not sure why they didn't bring that back, especially considering in Dark Souls um, three you have an active mana system like you did in Demon Souls. Seems like it would have made a lot of sense to bring that back. But hey, what do I know? Yeah, a bonfire that's like 30 meters from the last one. Cool. Yeah, fuck it. I'll sit down. Do I even? I don't even have a spell. Like. Why bother? But yeah, if I wanted to farm the uh, pyromancers, this would be the first spot to do it. And then, yeah, shit, forgot about these guys. Oh, he didn't run in the hole. Here.
Yeah, I'll, I might as well just get the other one while I'm here. I forget if I have to actually zone out to get them, or if I'm just... Like, just standing, or just going to the bonfire will be enough. I think I have to uh, zone out entirely. No? Okay, fuck it. Cool. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, whatever. Um, this way. That was a fucking mistake. Oh, that was not worth it, even a little bit. Time for death. Well, that certainly happened. Why is the body still here? Weird. Uh, huh. Oh, and he's just gonna be here forever now. Great. Hey, dude. Oh, shit. Wow, why are there so many of you? What the fuck? Remember this. Okay, can I force you guys into fighting me fairly? Fuck no, I can't. This sucks. Ah, way out. Wow. Seriously, what the Okay. There's so many of them. still items I want to get over there, though. Their leash range is kind of small. I think I might be able to abuse that. Hey, buddy. following me. Nope, okay. Hello. This is 
is very clown shoes. Hey. Fuck you. Hey. You suck. Ow, I was hoping I could fucking get one of you by yourselves. Fine. This is what I get for trying to be opportunistic. Oh, this is a mistake. Get out of the way. Wait, that worked? There's only a handful of things that are good about this place. It also doesn't help that this place is the culmination of some of my stuff I really, really dislike about Dark Souls 2, like the fact that they cut out a bunch of the cool content. Eh, I don't think it's worth it to jump in there. <laughs> like the whole thing with the plot line with the fucking um, mannequins chasing you, that got completely dropped. Uh, and it's all Naruto's fault. More on that later. Uh, it does way less damage. You're pulling yourself outside of my view range. Bastard. Ugh. Yeah, but this is basically my Dark Souls 1 character. Except it was the Crest Shield, not the, uh... Or the Grass Crest Shield, not the... This thing. I think this was part of a fan design contest, like the Blood Shield was in Dark Souls 1. I vaguely remember that. that there's so many of these fucking things.
guy's mask up top is kind of cool. And I have to run away so he doesn't actually come up here. It's like, everything about this is so fucking tedious. Because there's no good way to fight those guys. They kill you in one hit. Oh, shit. What am I gonna do? Fight them legitimately? Fuck that. That's a big hammer. I kind of wish you could get it. Wow. I don't remember that. Also, that hitbox is fucking bullshit. Oh, God. Yay! An auto-targeting enemy. Or, specifically, an auto-targeting overhead. The actual worst thing about this game. I'm being completely serious about that. Auto-targeting overheads are the biggest problem Dark Souls 2 has. By far. Also, projectile casters. There's a lot of fucking casters in Dark Souls 2, and they all suck. Like that. Hey, dude. Eh, he'll kill himself. Dead yet? There we go. Ow. Yep, that's appropriate. I wish I could just shoot a fucking uh, flame at that goddamn. Uh, Yeah, yeah. I wish I could shoot a flame at that windmill. It would solve, like, a bunch of my problems. Hello, inexplicable Dark Souls 1 reference. This is literally even the same fucking balcony. Although it's now underground for some reason. These are all gonna say, like, illusory wall, illusory wall, illusory wall. They're all fake. There are no illusory walls in this area. That dust effect looks fucking terrible. It's, like, literally... What the hell? Yay! And I learned the gesture. This is the first good covenant you get access to, because it's purely beneficial. Do I even have any sunlight medals? They drop from doing the fucking, uh... Awesome mode, or whatever the fuck it is. They drop from enemies more frequently. That hardcore mode is such a, like a fucking waste, and it makes your miracles better. Well, I'm not even smart enough to equip a miracle, or a sorcery, or anything, so that'll have to be for later. I'll probably never use that ring. Unlike the other ones where you have to use it as part of the Covenant thing, uh, there's not really any reason to equip a lot of the ones in Dark Souls 2. There's an assassin over there. Well, a mannequin, more specifically. I should probably go down there first. Damn. Do I have any throwing knives? I do. I do have a throwing knife. Yeah, kill yourself, idiot. I appreciate how stupid they are. And dead. Good job, moron. 
Oh, right. There's a fucking you. You're the problem. I think I can snipe her from here. Yeah, I should be able to. Ow. Sh okay, good. Hey, drop your sexy outfit. I'm willing to do the uh, sex change thing if you drop that outfit. I rarely ever play uh, girls in fucking Souls games. Not really sure why. It's just never really come up. I think the reason for that was because of Demon Souls. Although, you fucking shit. You'd think that in because of Demon Souls, I would play a female character because all the best equipment in Demon Souls was for female characters. But, eh. Yeah, that's useful. Oh, is she not here? Oh, no, there she is. I was really confused. I was like, did Lucatiel die or something? Is this one worth it? No. How many of those do I have? That's the real question. One. <sighs> There's one later that I'm really gonna want to hit. I'm sure I'll find another lockstone. If nothing else, I know where to get them. I bet Pharos is a badass. Hey. Still on the road. Yep. Your face looks like an old man. Sick. I found my thoughts growing hazy. Yeah, it's because you're undead. My memories are You know, if you'd kept that effigy you gave me at the beginning of the game, you'd probably be doing a lot better. Curse is doing its work upon me. I am frightened. Terribly so. If everything should fade, what will be left of me? Yeah, existential dread ain't great. Together. Which is a neat trick we because you use a great sword. Swordsman in all of Mira. I never even compared to him. In fact, I never beat him. Not once. But then, one day. Yeah, because he became undead. Lost without a trace. Now I'm certain that he was taken by the curse. What do you think I'm doing? Yeah, okay, 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 bye. gonna be doing this stupid shit. Get down here. Come on. I'll wait. Motherfucker, I have more throwing knives. Very stupid.
<sighs> oh, hey. Get over here. But yeah, if they drop that Desert Sorceress outfit, I'll be all down for fucking getting in the sex change coffin. Although, I'm not sure it would make my character look very attractive. That coffin basically just turns you to the fucking female version of whatever, um, settings you have. And I'm not sure that would make my character look very good, unfortunately. Ah. Eh. Eh, well, whatever. Okay, that's a weird texture. I wonder if it would be useful to jump in there. I'm not sure there's anything good in there. Those fucking ghosts are freaking me out. What? Bullshit. That could have been worse. That's one torch, of course. Um, isn't there a fucking bonfire nearby? Or am I misremembering that? Alright, bean pole. Yeah. That's a, uh... Wow, okay. 